Hey guys, it's Katie and welcome back to another video. Today I was going to show off my iOS 14 home screen because I know I've been seeing that all over TikTok and I was like, why not do a little YouTube video about it? I'll also include like a little section about how I actually did it because showing it off is only going to take like a few seconds. Um, my theme that I'm actually choosing, or that I actually kind of chose, is like a 70s theme as you can see by this little take it easy um air freshener i'm really into the 70s stuff and so i thought that that would be a perfect home screen i love the music i love the style and then my home screen is just a great representation of it so let's get right into the video so first we're just on my like lock screen right now it's just plain blue same color as my home screen because i don't really know what else to do i'll probably find something else so then you go into it and this is the first page i have two widget smith things and then everything else is just a 70s pattern i have the names underneath of what it actually is and then on the bottom it's a little hard to like see what they are but i kind of memorized it goes safari messages life 360 settings so i kind of just know what to click um, but everything else is patterns moving on to my second page we have two more widget smith photos and then everything else is patterns and then the last page we have one widget smith and then patterns and then if you go all the way to this side here's all my extra apps and regular apps Everything on my home screen is in all of my apps. I have all of my extra stuff in here that I don't use a lot because having all of my apps on my home screen just spread out would be so confusing and so chaotic. So these are just the main ones. Now I'm gonna get into like a little bit of like how I did it. Well, first I'll do like how I found like the patterns to actually use. I just kind of looked on Pinterest and Safari and looked up 70s patterns, 70 colors, 70 wallpapers, stuff like that, and then just screenshotted a ton of those to use. And for the Widget Smith, I just looked up 70s aesthetic photos and I found the ones that I was like, yes, these are it, these are what I love. So first you gotta download the app Widget Smith in the app store, literally just look up Widget Smith, it should come up, it's like a little blue box, it's really easy to find. And then there's a bunch of widgets to choose from. At first I thought a large widget would be the way to go, but that was ginormous. So I only decided on small widgets, and as you can see I have five different ones. Now here's how you make a small widget. It'll already have one so you don't have to hit add, but you just click on it. And then it'll say default widget and then timed widget. I don't know what timed widget is, I haven't chosen it yet, but default widget. You click that and it might look a little confusing, but don't worry, just scroll down, find photos and then select photo, choose photo, I don't know, we'll just use this random photo I have in my camera roll, and then that is now a widget, so I can save that, go to my home screen, edit home screen by clicking on an app, hit plus, and then you have to go all the way down to the bottom where widget smith is, add widget, and it's gonna have the same photo as my number one widget, so you click on the widget smith widget, and then you go to small number six, and then it'll come up. And then let me just get rid of that because I actually don't want that on my home screen. The thing is, with all of these like things, all of my apps, they have to go to shortcuts before actually going to the app. So I'll show you guys how to do that. If you're impatient, I do not recommend doing the shortcut to the app because it takes like a fat second to like switch from what you clicked to the thing. Um, most people I know who didn't do that usually just went in rainbow order and then they picked widgets based on the colors and that looks really sick. It looks amazing. You could probably look up people who did that. I like the plain simplistic with just the backgrounds and I don't mind it switching from shortcuts to the actual app. So you hit plus, new shortcut, add action, then search up add, oh, not add, search up open app and then open app, choose, and then you can choose any app. We'll just do the Bible for fun. And then hit those three dots next to new shortcut one. Shortcut name, I just put Bible, add to home screen. You're gonna wanna put a name. And then here's where you do photos. You click the little icon next to it, choose photo, and then we'll just choose the same photo. Don't look at my camera roll, it's really weird. But then you would hit add, and then look at that. It's right on my home screen. And then all you have to do is hit delete. And then the 
Staying with apps, let me just move one onto my home screen for a sec. Okay, so now settings is on my home screen. So what you do is you'll click on it, you'll hit remove from home screen, and then remove from home screen. And if it's an app that can be deleted, we'll do Among Us. You can hit remove app and then it'll ask delete app or move to app library. Make sure you move to app library. Unless you want to delete it, then go ahead. But move to app library and then you can just search stuff up really easily. All right, so that is all for this video. If you guys want to see anything else kind of like this video, it's not something I normally do, but I'm so willing to do it if that's what you guys want. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and make sure you comment down below what your favorite part was or what your theme for your home screen is going to be. And yeah, see you guys next time. Bye! Mm -hmm.